How's it going everybody? Kyle here with Newegg TV. Today I'll be doing an unboxing and overview on this brand new card from EVGA. This is their GeForce GTX 770 Superclock Edition, and it is one of the first cards that they've released that features their brand new Active Cooling Extreme cooling design. So first off, before I go any further, I did want to mention some of the features that you will get with this card that aren't necessarily visible to the naked eye. Uh, they're not even on the box for that matter, but uh, they are present nonetheless, so I'm going to talk about them. First of which is GPU Boost 2.0. Uh, GPU Boost 1.0 we saw on all of the 600 series cards from NVIDIA, and then we saw GPU Boost 2.0 for the first time on the GTX Titan, and then the 780, and now on the 770 as well. Essentially what that does is it allows you to set a temperature target for your card. It's essentially a new way of overclocking. So your card will automatically overclock itself until your, your card reaches that target temperature. Uh, you've also got the option to adjust the fan curve on your fan uh, of the video card itself so that you can uh, decide how fast or how slowly you want your fan to ramp up or down depending on the GPU load uh, that your card's undergoing. Uh, aside from that, NVIDIA has also implemented their adaptive temperature controller on this card, so even if you don't want to do any manual fan curve adjustments, uh, you're still going to get a very smooth process overall when, you're, when your fan is ramping up and down, helping in the overall acoustic experience. Aside from that, you also get the option to over, overvolt your card uh, for one of the first times, also found on uh, GPU, I'm sorry, also found on the GTX Titan and the 780, of course, because they both feature GPU Boost 2.0. But uh, essentially, it's very, very useful, uh, a great feature for overclocking as well. Uh, and lastly, I just want to talk about GeForce Experience, which is essentially a software that NVIDIA has been working on for quite some time now. And that basically just optimizes your entire system for whatever game you're playing. So it will automatically detect what GPU is installed, and then based on the game you're playing, will optimize those in game video quality settings. Uh, and it, that changes everything from your, your RAM to your CPU to your chipset, even on the OS level, everything's being optimized uh, to work for your benefit. Uh, also included with GeForce Experience is a new feature called Shadow Play, and that basically uses a built-in H.264 encoder so that you can record the last 20 minutes of your gameplay at any time. And that's just really great because instead of using a software-based program like Fraps, you're actually offloading some of that workload onto the GPU itself on a hardware level. So you're not going to be seeing as much of a performance hit when you're playing games and recording. So first off, you've got what looks to be a fairly sizable poster. Let's take a look. Game of Pwns. Yes, like Game of Thrones, but, but Pwns. Uh, also, also really cool shield with a QR code on it. Very, very classy. Uh, aside from that, looks like you've also got some stickers here. Enthusiast built EVGA stickers, a wrench with uh, flames on them. Be careful when handling those wrenches. You've also got a CD installation CD, well, a driver installation CD, I should say. Always best to go to the NVIDIA website to make sure you have the latest drivers, though, to ensure full compatibility. Uh, you also get an EVGA case badge, which uh, I personally think looks pretty awesome. Stick that on your chassis. You've also got some documentation here. An important notice uh, basically saying uh, make sure that your motherboard BIOS is up to date before you install the video card to ensure further compatibility. Uh, quick start guide, so um, if you are kind of new, getting started with uh, one of your first builds, I uh, might want to take a look at this. It just quickly shows you how to install a video card properly into your PCIe slot on your motherboard. You've also got a graphics card user's guide, so this is the more uh, detailed um, guide, I guess, for all of your inquiries that you may have. You've also got some adapters here. It looks to be a, so it looks like two six pin to one 8-pin PCIe uh, power adapter. And you've also got a uh, Molex to PCIe, that's a, a 6-pin. So you got two 3-pin Molex connectors to one 6-pin PCIe. Uh, lastly, I think this is the last adapter in there, you've got a dual link DVI to analog D-sub. And uh, lastly, we've got the card, so why don't I take it out and we'll have a closer look. All right, so before I get into the hardware of the card, I'm just going to go over some of the basic specs. Uh, this card is featuring the same GK104 chip that is found in the GTX 680, except NVIDIA has given it quite a performance boost since then, so you all are going to see some substantial performance gains with this card. Uh, it does feature eight SMX units, giving you a total of 1,536 CUDA cores, has 3.54 billion transistors. Uh, this is a super clock card once again, so the base clock is actually at 1,111 megahertz. Boost clock is at 1,163 megahertz. Clock is uh, reference speed, but also still very fast at 7,010 megahertz. It's got a 512 kilobyte L2 cache, two gigs of GDDR5 memory on a 256-bit memory interface. Uh, that's a total memory bandwidth of 224.3 gigabytes per second. Uh, lastly, it's got a TDP of 230 watts, and NVIDIA is recommending at least a 600-watt power supply for this card. 
So with that said, why don't we move on to the hardware? Uh, you can see it's got a nice, uh, very nice cooler design that we actually haven't seen too much of before from EVGA. This is their active cooling extreme design. And uh, you can see it's got two silent 90mm uh, fans there. Um, they are very, uh, very classy looking. Uh, it's kind of got a, a nice matte black finish uh, along the entire shroud as well, which is also made of plastic. It has a very nice matte finish, so it's not too reflective. Uh, you will see some reflection on the, uh, the metallic accents on the top and bottom there. It's got an EVGA, EVGA logo up top. It says GeForce GTX 770 on the bottom there. Very classy design. Uh, you've also got a little bit more of a gloss finish on the end there. It says ACX, Active Cooling Extreme, in reference to the design of the cooler. Uh, and you can also see two massive uh, aluminum heat sinks just below those two fans. So the one on the right is just above your VRAM, and the one on the left is right above your GPU. So going to be doing a lot of decent thermal dissipation throughout this whole card. Uh, aside from that, let's take a look on this side, since this is the side that most of you will be seeing when you install the card in your case. You've got uh, more of the EVGA branding here with the GTX 770. Uh, you can see a little bit more of the aluminum heat array, uh, the thin array, I should say, and you've got some uh, metallic pipes in there, copper pipes. You actually have five aluminum um, nickel-plated copper pipes in there. You've got your power connectivity, one 6-pin and one 8-pin PCIe power connector on the back side. Let me pop this guy off. You have your SLI connectors, so this card is capable of doing up to three-way SLI. You have a nice matte black PCB, and on the bottom here, you've got your PCIe Gen 3 connector. And lastly, on the back here, why don't I take some of these guys out? I should have done this beforehand. Good planning, Kyle. Good planning. But here you go. You've got some more ventilation holes on the back for some rear exhaust, and you've got your video outs, including your HDMI. I'm sorry, DVI. Oh, psh, I can't talk right now. Display port, HDMI, and two dual link DVI ports. The one on the bottom being analog, and the one on top is digital. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this unboxing and overview. Once again, this has been EVGA's GeForce GTX 770, and this is their Superclock Edition featuring their Active Cooling Extreme cooler. I'm Kyle with Newegg TV, and if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our Newegg YouTube channel for more tech videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.